Light is the connection between us and the universe. Through light, we can experience distant stars and look back at the beginning of existence itself. But what is light? In a nutshell, light is the smallest quantity of energy that can be transported. A photon, an elementary particle without a real size that can't be split, only created or destroyed. Light also has a wave-particle duality, being kind of a particle and a wave at the same time, although this is a lie. Also, when we say light, we actually mean visible light, which is a tiny part of the electromagnetic spectrum, energy in form of electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation consists of an enormous range of wavelengths and frequencies. Gamma rays have the smallest wavelengths because they're the highest energy photons. But most gamma rays are just under 10 picometers, which is still way smaller than a hydrogen atom. For reference, a hydrogen atom compared to a cent is about as big as a cent compared to the moon. Visible light is in the middle of the spectrum, in the range of about 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers, about the size of bacteria. On the other end of the spectrum, radio waves can be up to 100 kilometers in diameter, while the biggest wavelengths we know exist can span from 10,000 kilometers to a baffling 100,000 kilometers, way larger than Earth. From a physics standpoint, all these different waves are the same. They all have the wave-particle duality and travel at sea, the speed of light, just at different frequencies. So what Assalamu alaikum. Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the power of spectra. Because you know what? You can't live without the power of light. Look here. It's so bright. But without light... Okay guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh guys. I would like to share with all of you about X-ray. X-ray is a form of high energy electromagnetic radiation. Most X-rays have a wavelength ranging from 0.01 to 10 nanometer. And for your information, X-ray wavelengths are shorter than those of UV rays and typically longer than those of gamma rays. Do you know where, where does X-ray being applied? Nowadays, we can see it applied at the airport which is inspection of baggage. So, how do they do it? A baggage system which employs a fan-shaped X-ray beam which scans back on a conveyor belt and produces image of the content of the baggage on a video monitor. The output of an X-ray source is culminated into a narrow linear beam. Object to be scanned and exposed to this beam with successive slices of the object being so exposed as the conveyor moves the object past the beam. In a nutshell, I want to conclude this topic with a verse from Al-Quran al -Karim. Thank you. Ultraviolet is electromagnetic radiation with wavelength from 10 nanometer to 400 nanometer, shorter than all visible light but longer than X rays. UV radiation is present in sunlight and can contributes about 10% of the total electromagnetic radiation output from the sun. It is also produced by electric arcs and specialized lights such as mercury vapor lamps, tiny lamps, and black and black lights. So guys, have you ever seen how you can make sure your water is safe to drink. The answer is with disinfect and purify your drinking water with eco-friendly UV. The question is how? So let's check it out this video. Germicidal energy of ultraviolet light destroys illness-causing microorganisms by attacking the DNA at their genetic core. This eliminates the microorganism's ability to reproduce, rendering them harmless. UV purification eliminates 99.99% of the harm viruses and bacteria like E. coli can cause. The Quran contains many verses of advice about healthy lifestyle. One of it is in Surah al hijra verse 22. So, hi guys. So, what is gamma ray? Gamma ray is a form of light that has the smallest wavelength with the most energy of any wave in the electromagnetic spectrum. Gamma ray allows us to enrich our view beyond from what we can see from visible lights. 
Gamma ray also enable us to observe known objects in a new way and reveal phenomena that we has never seen be- we have never seen before. One of the technology that use gamma is for full irradiation. By choosing the right wavelength and dosage, these rays can prevent sprouting of vegetables like potatoes and maintain their freshness and taste. It also can destroy harmful bacteria that could be present in spices, meat or seafood. Food irradiation involves shining electromagnetic rays of electrons onto the food. It is a cool process, so spices retain their unique flavors and aromas that will be diminished by heating. In addition, the traditions being passed through through packaging, so the food remains protected from bacteria or insects after treatment and will remain fresh longer. The Quran contains many verses of advice about healthy eating that relate with uh, our physical and spiritual health. In Surah Al-Baqarah verses 172, Quran said, Eat of the good things which we have provided for you. So, with the gamma rays technology in food irradiation, we can prolong the life of fresh food and vegetables. Infrared. It is a light spectrum that lies between visible and microwave. Infrared light varies from red to violet light, like how we feel heat through sunlight. Infrared are also thermal, waved from far to short, heat from hot to not hot. Infrared light is even used to heat food sometimes. But food is a terminal problem. There are lots of factors, including poor contact, magnetic leach, voltage spikes, and so on, which cause overheating of equipment leading failure. Of course, this can be helped with infrared light technology. Light scattering detection measures the equipment thermal radiation through solar thermal conversion to measure the equipment's infrared radiation intensity. With the help of information recognition and system development and programming implementation, infrared technology detection will be able to detect faulty in power equipment. We can manage all types of power equipment. Even nowadays, at home, they are also applying this technology. This research benefits of all mankind. Wata'awanu ala biri watakur. As the conclusion, let's watch the verse from Al-Quran Al-Karim. Allahu waliyu alladhina amanu yukhrijuhum min al-zulumati ila nur From this verse, we know that actually light is same with the nur which is light bring a brightness in the darkness while uh, a nur, uh, Allah bring mankind from the darkness to the brightness. So that's all from us. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.